Today we're going to be talking about four season backpacking gear, so stick around. Hey everybody, my name is Thor and I help you get on the trail geared up, educated, and more informed. In order to make this video, I'm going to show you my four season backpacking gear to give you some tips, tricks, and ideas to set up your four season gear. Now, first off, you've got to know the temperatures that you're going to be going into. You've got to know the situation. You've got to know if you're going to get storms. You've got to know if you're going to need to bring crampons or gaiters or what you need to bring in order to stay safe. Because being comfortable and being safe are two very different things. First off, I went with a zero degree sleeping bag. Now, you can go with a five degree, a 10 degree, a zero degree, a negative 20, a quilt, a sleeping bag. This is all dependent upon the situations that you're going to be in. And then that will determine what type of insulation you're going to need. I chose the Big Agnes Anvil Horn zero degree sleeping bag to keep me warm for season. The thing that I really appreciated that Big Agnes added to the back side of their sleeping pad is this pocket that holds your sleeping pad in place. Because I was able to spin circles last night and my sleeping pad and my sleeping bag never came separated, I never fell off, and it really doesn't add any weight. This is not the only thing or only form of insulation that I use. I also bring a sleeping bag liner. And the one that I chose to bring on this trip and all of my four season backpacking trips Thermalite Reactor Extreme from Sea to Summit. Sea to Summit claims that this will add up to 25 degrees. I think it maybe adds 10 to 15 tops, but it just gives your bag that extra edge to keep you comfortable when sleeping in freezing conditions. Now, one of the most important pieces of gear that you can consider when thinking about four season backpacking is your sleeping pad. Your sleeping pad is going to give you the base between you and the cold ground. The ground is freezing cold. That's where your heat is gonna get sucked out of. So it's very important to have a properly insulated sleeping pad. And the sleeping pad that I chose to go with is the Thermarest NeoAir X-Therm. This pad is gonna keep you warm past freezing temperatures. With an R value of 6.9, this pad is gonna keep you toasty warm. But I'm not saying that you have to go out and buy the X-Therm. Just keep in mind what sort of insulation you're putting beneath you during your cold weather backpacking trips. All right, and this is more of like a pro tip or just like a little tip trick in order to get your sleeping bag warmed up before you jump inside. I will throw three to four hand warmers all throughout my sleeping bag while I'm finishing up dinner, and while I'm getting ready for bed. So by the time I climb in, there's already some warmth inside there. And also they last all night long and keep me extra warm. So think about picking up some hand warmers the next time you go four season or cold weather backpacking. Hey guys, I just wanted a couple, a couple more tips and tricks staying warm while four season backpacking. On top of your sleeping bag, your sleeping pad, if you choose a liner, the hand warmers, those are all some of the most important things you can do to stay comfortable and stay safe. But there are a couple things extra that you can do in order to ensure a little bit of extra warmth and extra comfortability while you're out on your next backpacking trip. Some things to think about are water and food consumption. These are two of the most important things that you can do while out backpacking. If you have a nice hot meal before bed, you go to sleep with food, your body's gonna be working on that throughout the all night digesting, creating heat. That's gonna keep you extra warm. If you're staying hydrated, your body's not having to work as hard to cool you off, to heat you up, and your thermal efficiency is gonna be much more effective. If you're going to bed, have drank enough water, and you have a full belly. Something else that I like to do before bed and when I first wake up in the morning is make a nice hot cup of tea. Whether you're grabbing some pine needles off of the pine tree that you're camping next to or you bring some from home, a nice hot cup of tea before you go to bed and when you wake up in the morning really helps your body to warm itself up and to get things started. That is our video for today about four season backpacking. You need to have good insulation both from the ground and around you maybe consider a liner to boost your bag's ability to keep you warm at night. And think about some of the tips and tricks that we talked about today, about eating right, drinking enough water, and maybe throwing some hand warmers in that pack. Thank you guys so much for clicking on this video. If you found value, like the video, subscribe to the channel for more videos like this, and thanks for stopping by.